hello from slider and hello from weaves what's up folks in the last vid i was talking about explicit intents if you remember explicit it means that we know the name of the person who we are calling right for example we had an app there were two activities and i wanted to call the second activity from the first one so i used directly the name of the second activity using an intent and bam it was called right but here things are a bit different here we are going to talk about reusability now if you remember what reusability means you have a project you want to connect it to a database what do you do you write database code right now tomorrow let's say one month later you have another project which you want to connect to the database are you going to write the entire database code again no you're simply going to say control c and control v and modify stuff right and that's what reusability is all about here again i have a weird scenario i have an app that i want to send email or sms or you can say anything for now but remember for this i'll have to write email activity right now i'll have to make some edit text over there then i'll have to handle some functionality of sending email but remember one thing your android operating system already has inbuilt email functionality so why would i go ahead and waste my time writing an email functionality right i would simply find a way to reuse it so what i have is i need email functionality in my app I don't want to waste time building email. I will use an existing activity. Now remember, just the way you install apps, your Android operating system or your Android device also has pre-installed apps and email is actually you can say one of them that handles everything. So even it has activities, services, broadcast receivers, content providers and whatever. I don't know exactly which activity on my device can send email. Now all you know is that you want to send an email. Now you obviously don't know the name of the activity or which package it is inside inside your Android device, right? So you need a way to define the functionality and let Android call the right person to do your work right. That's what implicit intents is all about. So here in implicit intents, you can tell what action you want to perform without worrying about who can perform it right. And then you get notifications. For example, your airplane mode was on, your airplane mode was turned off or your battery level went below a certain level. All these things are notifications. So whenever there is an event, an intent is created out of that event and it is supplied to everybody. Now, if you have a broadcast receiver who's actively listening to these events, then that broadcast receiver is going to be connected, right? Now, don't worry too much about what I just said right now. If you don't know what a broadcast receiver is or what events are, simply they are notifications when something happens like your battery goes low, your Bluetooth was turned on, your network availability is not there, or you have your airplane mode on and there are hundreds or maybe thousands of events like that in the android device and each event is actually converted into an intent object and that is uh, broadcasted to everybody in the system that's how the android operating system works with events so now as i told you guys you don't know the name of the component that you want to call for sending an email but how will you identify it you can define the functionality you want in four pieces so first there is something called an action you define what you want to do for example you want to place a call you want to send an sms something like that and then you have your data that is what type of data you want to work with for example you simply say that hey open this page http google.com now what is that http google.com http is a host and port and uh, uri right urls uh, stuff so that is what data is all about you define what type of data or uri or images or whatever you're working with and then last but not the least you have your extras now this is the additional information for example you said place a phone call but who do you call the name of the person or maybe his number or maybe his email id or maybe his skype account id or something like that so that is all about extras you pass additional information needed to perform the task and then you have categories categories are nothing but you simply divide or group stuff by defining what each group will do for example if you remember in your all in all your activities inside your application you have something called category launcher and that is how your activities come appears inside the list of apps in the launcher remember you guys can go ahead and see my previous vid where i have talked about this how categories affect an activity coming inside the launcher all right so basically you have three things that work with intents if you want to call somebody it can be either an activity or it can be a service or it can be a broadcast receiver now remember activities and services come under one category and broadcast receivers come under a separate category you can call any one of them using an intent object now there are methods like start activity start activity for result start service bind service start send broadcast send ordered broadcast send sticky broadcast and stuff like that now don't worry i will talk about the methods in detail later for now we guys are keeping everything theoretical all right 
The component that you call doesn't need to be running actively. The package manager in Android is the guy who's responsible for handling intents. All right. So when the package manager receives an intent request, it's going to check who's running, who's not running, and it's going to call the person regardless of whether they are running or not running. In the next bit, I'm going to talk about intent resolution or how intents work in detail with the package manager. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know what you think about this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day.